the ocean, the largest habitat on Earth. It's the voice that's taught generations about nature and all its creatures. But now we know so much more. The gravitas of David Attenborough back again in a series that dives deeper and gets up closer to life underwater. This is Blue Planet 2. At the premiere, he's sharp as ever, now 91 years old and tackling the problems of a modern world. He spoke to us beside Blue Planet 2's executive producer. Sir David, when you think back to the start of your career and you think back to the challenges that are illustrated in this series, is the world better off or worse off now? There are three times more human beings on this earth than when I made my first television program. There's much less space for wildlife. So if you're a chimpanzee, or if you're an orangutan, <laughs> or indeed if you're a coral reef, uh, you'd say the world is not as good as it was. In a career spanning seven decades, Attenborough's always been keen to share what he sees through those binoculars. They were big creatures, even larger than I'd imagined. At least Introducing the world to rare critters in far-flung spots. And this is one of the last places where this rarest of the Mediterranean mammals can find safety. Once voted Britain's most trustworthy figure, he's now using his clout and his latest series to warn like never before about human threats to nature, coral bleaching, warming seas, and ocean plastics. It's not rocket science. And if we can solve rocket science, for heaven's sake, we ought to be able to work out how to get rid of plastic. But it's not just plastic. He says the climate change doubting Donald Trump poses a real risk too. As a solution, Attenborough even joked last year, we could shoot him. If the president sticks to his present views, I suspect that uh, that is not good news for the natural world. Blue Planet 2 could be his most ambitious project yet, filmed over 6,000 hours underwater in 39 countries. Canadians will have to wait till early 2018 to dive in, and only if viewers subscribe to the specialty channel BBC Earth. Thomas Dagg of CBC News, London.